Hello everyone, welcome to another day in Shroud of the Avatar. Today we're in-game Skig Media, and I thought we'd go into the East Longfall Wetlands. Now it's one of the starter zones, but it's got a puzzle in here, which I've been meaning to solve, so with some research I now found out how to do this one, so I thought we'd do a video. Now, what we're going to do is we've got to find a camp first of all. I've already been in here, so it's given some heads up. So it's a bandit hideout, you won't have it on your compass. Basically, if we just carry on through the map and then just take a left around here, you should see an opening of water. There are some basic crocodiles in this zone, but it is a zone that everybody should be able to quite comfortably come into. And just head on further up here. Make certain we are going good. And I can show you the... There's a map in here to some hidden treasure. So I'll show you the map and then give you the clues and then see where we go from there. Nice crickets in the background. Camp should be just coming up. Surprised we're not getting attacked by these little, what are they called calamans? They're like baby crocodiles. Right, so here's a bandit camp. Got one of the calamans want to fight us now, but. Some thugs in here, of course. I'm just going to head straight into the cabin here. In here, let's just see if we're going to get followed. Oh, we are, so we'll just deal with Mr. Thug here. There's a couple of points of interest. First is a chest, we'll open it whilst we're in combat, we just come out, which has a small amount of loot in it. Um, now here it gives us some history. Here is what we know, Captain Wheat and his officers hid the loot. They made a map to help them find it, and they keep lying about the value of the loot. I tortured the officers all night. To their credit, they ke they kept up with their dirty lie. But we know we know the loot wasn't just some ratty banner. We've got to decipher the map so we can find our treasure. And then we have a map on the wall and another note, which is a repeat of what we just read. If we look at the note. We can see there's three locations. There's one with what looks like a ruined boat, a triangular type of log, and then what looks like a group of trees across in the middle. So these are locations we've got to find and then see what we find there. So if you want to have a go yourself, those three locations will give you an item um, and then you'll need those three items to then open up a puzzle that's found somewhere in the middle. And what I'll do now is I will now go and do it. So if you just want the hint, that's the hint. And if you'd like to see me do it, let's see if I can do it. Now I've had to do a lot of reading up on this and thing we need to be able to do it. So 
the first time I come in here I spent hours looking around and couldn't find them. I could find the locations, but I couldn't find what we were looking for. Actually what we're looking for are some swords. And the first one is a boat, and if you remember when we were coming up here there was a broken boat here. This one's the hardest of them all to find. Even the clues themselves didn't lead me to led me to this area. But we've got a boat here. It doesn't want to fight me. Now I can actually see it. I couldn't see it before. I'm just going to go to it. Down in the water down here. And you've got to get the light in the right area. It's just here. And one way you can find it, if you're uncertain, is if you just keep moving your mouse over, it will turn green. But if you carefully look down here, you'll find that there is a two-handed keystone sword. So if we have the boat there, I'll give you some reference as to where it is. Got the log there. And just down here. It was easier to see during the daytime than the night. So we'll take that. I think that might come up as a quest item. Yeah, two-handed keystone sword. So there's our first one. Now that was where the bandit camp is, so we've got to go back inland. Let's see if I can find the Next one, I've again got to look for the locations. So what we're looking for now is the three logs sticking up, three or four logs sticking up. Just a bit of running through the marshes, and it's so you can start your skinning in here and uh, get some slimes to attack. Of course, loads of calamans. Let's just finish off this one so you can see you can skin these. They don't normally give out much. they are very low level animal hide right now I think it's over here seen some trunks sticking up over there there we go got three trunks sticking up over there and another oh, couple of calamans here let's just quickly deal with these they're very easy to kill so but it is only a one skull area now we've got these trunks here is what we're looking for for our next one it's actually in this trunk over here I believe and it's actually tucked away somewhere took me a while to find it there it is. When it's shown to you, you can see it, but you can see how you can easily miss it. Again, if you move your mouse over, it will turn green. So there's that one. And then the other one is down in an area where there's another quest item. If you're doing the airy bank, there's a key to be found in here. The next item we want happens to be very close to that location, so I'll quickly show you that as well. Because there's a quest in Airy at the bank, and um, we follow the trail, and it will lead to this point here before you go back to hand in the quest. What 
we're looking for is the triangular trunk, if you remember, when we looked at the map. We found the trees, we found the boat, and this one here is the triangular trunk. And there was an elf up here. It wasn't the last time I'd done it. And oh just get this calman out of the way. Just over here, just underneath here, you can see the sword. So that's all three swords. Now if you are doing the other quest, um, you had to find a key. The key's actually inside the hut there. I do have a video on that one. So now what where we need to go next is the statue ruins these um, swords. So there's a fair amount of combat in here, but again, I think that shouldn't be able to handle. <laughs> and down in the centre here, we happen to have three pedestals. So it's just deal with the skeleton here, because it'll only interrupt us otherwise. And now, now we've actually picked up the swords, we should be able to put the swords in their place. Number two, as I say, they're little keys, which now should open up a chest which I'm going to have to go and find. Oh, right, right in front of us. And if we find a note in here. Oh, we've just got some bog men fired up. Vengeful bog men. Let's just clear them out. And another one. If you are a new character, you might find them just a little bit more challenging than what you found. And we're getting some poison off them. But let's go and see our loot now. We've got a note here, and I think we're being attacked. Oh, let's go and deal with him, and then we can have a look at this note. Or you can read it whilst I'm fighting this one. Alright, so, tall officers, men at Hmm. It's just his instructions is probably a corpse. Uh, he's got Thing we and what we got inside the chest, we cannot open it whilst in combat. There we go, and we got the banner of honesty. So that was one of the other banner quests. So there we go. That's how to get your banner of honesty. That's your loot. And uh, as I say, so we've just got to find the locations of the swords from the map and place them swords in, kill the bogmen, and claim your loot. And of course, we've had a good look around East Long for wetland as well. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. And of course, if you are new to my channel, 
if you would just uh, click on the follow button on Twitch and the subscribe button on YouTube, that will greatly help me grow the channels. And of course the information there is for Shroud of the Avatar. Please feel free to leave any questions in the comments areas and I will get back to you. And thank you for watching.